In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a strut mount on your Toyota Tacoma. This will be located behind the front wheel. Let's get started. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the six lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Using a pair of locking pliers, we're gonna hold the sway bar link while we use a 17 millimeter socket to remove the nut. Remove the nut. Pull the sway bar link out of the knuckle. Do the same thing on the other side. We need both links removed to be able to swing the sway bar up. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the ABS bracket off of the upper control arm. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt for the ABS bracket on the brake line bracket. Using a 12 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the brake line bracket. Remove the cotter pin for the upper ball joint. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the nut for the upper ball joint. We're gonna put it on just a few threads. We're going to use a hammer and hit the knuckle to release the pressure on the upper ball joint. Using two 19 millimeters, we're going to remove the nut for the strut. Remove the nut and the washer. Using a punch, we're going to push the bolt through the shock. Remove the bolt. We're going to remove the three top nuts for the strut mount using a 14 millimeter socket. We're going to spray these down with a little bit of penetrant. Remove the nut out of the back. Using a pry bar, we're going to pull slightly down on the upper control arm to make it easier to pull off the nut. Remove the nut for the upper ball joint. Remove the upper control arm out of the knuckle. Pull it forward into the side, being sure there's no tension on our ABS wire or our brake line. Replicate this process on the opposite side to make sure that the sway bar can move freely. We're gonna pull our sway bar up and out of the way. I'm gonna tie it to our upper control arm. Using a pry bar, we're gonna go through the shock and pull down, breaking it free from the top of the tower. Pop the bottom of the strut out. Remove the strut assembly. Before we walk away from the vehicle, we're going to use one more hook to tie our knuckle back to the strut tower, just so we don't have it fall forward and pull on our brake hose. Install the strut assembly into the strut compressor. We're going to put a slight amount of tension on the spring and then loosen our top hat nut. 
loosen the top hat nut, remove the bushing in the plate, remove the shock, remove the bushing and the washer off of the shock, install the shock into the spring, install the top hat, install the top bushing and the washer, install the nut, Torque the top strut nut to 20 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. While doing this, be sure that the strut pole is not spinning. Release the tension off of the spring. Remove it from the spring compressor, and now it's ready to go back into the vehicle. Install the strut into the vehicle. While doing this, keep an eye on your brake line. Be sure it does not get pulled. Install the three top nuts. Using a small pry bar, we're going to push the shock into the bottom bracket. Install the bolt. Install the washer and the nut. You can use a pry bar to help you pry down on the upper control arm. Get the nut started for the upper ball joint. Use a 19 millimeter to hold the head of the bolt. Snug down the nut. While holding the head of the bolt, torque the nut to 61 foot-pounds. Install the sway bar link into the knuckle. Get the nut started on the back side. Snug the nut down. Torque the nut to 52 foot-pounds. Be sure the stud is not spinning. Our stud is spinning, so we're going to use a pair of locking pliers. Go around the sway bar link. And hold it while we torque the nut. Install the brake line bracket onto the knuckle. Get the bolt started. Install the ABS bracket to the brake line bracket. Install the bolt. Snug the bolts down. Snug down the bolts. Install the bolt for the ABS bracket on top of the control arm. Snug the bolt down. Snug down the upper ball joint nut and torque it to 81 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. Once you've torqued it to 81 foot-pounds, you can go an additional 60 degrees or until a slot in the castle nut lines up with a slot in the stud. Install the cotter pin. Bend the ends around. Once this side is completely put back together, go over to the other side and do the same thing. Install the wheel. Get the lug nut started. Snug down the lug nuts. Torque the wheels in a star pattern to 85 foot-pounds. Yeah. 
We'll go around one more time. Put the vehicle on the ground. I'm going to torque the strut nuts to 47 foot pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on the back one, do the best you can. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.